everybody, Mrs. Bianchi, we're looking at number five. Julio places gray chairs and blue chairs in each row he sets up for the assembly. The ratio of gray chairs to blue chairs in each row is seven to three. How many gray chairs and blue chairs will Julio use if he sets up a total of 80 chairs? All right, so what are the categories that they're talking about here? So I see that we're talking about gray chairs and we're talking about blue chairs. And let's write the numbers that we have. So the ratio of gray chairs to blue chairs in each row is seven to three. So seven has to go with gray because it's first, it's listed first here, it's listed first here. And blue chairs, we have to go with the number three. All right, now in class, we've been talking a lot about what, was the, what would this third column be that I created? A lot of sixth graders don't have the intuition to include that. That would be your total number of chairs that you're dealing with, total chairs, regardless of color. So that's gray and blue chairs total, right? Total chairs. Now they do give a number in the problem that does talk about total chairs. That's this number right here. It says he's setting up 80 total chairs. Now, before we plunk that number in, you have to ask yourself, how do I get this number that pertains to the seven and the three? We would be adding the seven plus three, and that's gonna give us the total chairs that we need for this particular ratio. So we have the part plus the part equaling the whole. All right, now where do we put the 80? We're gonna put the 80 right here. Leave a little bit of room because we're gonna um, just fill something in in the table to help us answer this question. Now, fortunately, in sixth grade, the numbers they usually give you are compatible. 10 is compatible with 80. It is a factor of 80. What's the other factor? You should be asking yourself 10 times what is 80? And of course that number would be times eight. Now, what does that mean you need to do? You need to add, or I'm sorry, multiply eight times the three to get a number of blue chairs and multiply this, these two numbers together to get the number of gray chairs. Now I'm just gonna put a line here to separate our work so we don't get confused, but ask yourself, what is this times this to get your gray chair number? And what is this times this to get your blue chair number? And include this on your piece of paper. Now, when you answer this question, there are check boxes that you have to select so um, whatever number you have here, just make sure you check off the appropriate box and that you're paying attention to the fact that the colors are different. Um, and then you'll be able to finish this up with no problem.